Hello to you. My name is Maria Konjelska and this is Poland Daily Culture. And we are in the art studio of Maja Tomaszewska, who is here with us. Thank you for letting us in into your, I would say, very intimate place. It's a pleasure. And we were talking about your career, how you were shaped and developed in this artistic path, which is always not easy and always very unique. And you, so you, a lot of part of you, uh, you found also your spirit of art in Spain. How did it happen that you ended up there? And how did uh, art classes look like in Spain? Well, how I landed in Spain, that's a funny story. I didn't really plan it as exactly like that. But I think life works in general a little bit uh, by you know coincidences and things that happen by chance. So there was a chain of things that happened before me going to Spain. I met some people on my way and step by step I understood that, well, I, I should go there. I, that was a feeling. I, I just understood that I should move towards Spain in that moment and that was the right move, I, I feel, afterwards. That was something that really influenced me, shaped me in a way. Uh, traveling in, in general, like the place that you experience is important for for development of, of everything that you do. And and for me, well, Spain, um, you asked about the... How the classes looked, like how are, how are they different also mm -hmm. from the tuition here in Poland? Yeah, there is a lot of differences. Uh, I'd say one thing that I really appreciated in there was that I had a lot of space, and I don't mean like space, I mean, you know, space for my, my thoughts and my, like, um, doing it in my own way. I could um, take my time, but also the production was really intense. Uh, so there was a, a lot of uh, liberty in my creation in there. And I was let do what I wanted to do. But at the same time, I had people that I could uh, dialogue with. That was also really important, speak about your ideas. And maybe also the fact that I had, I, I got very lucky that I met on my way, like some real maestros that I could, you know, exchange my ideas with and uh, that was really important that I, I actually keep in touch with the people that I got to know in Spain uh, when I speak about my art I always exchange the the ideas I think it's it's really important and the other thing, like I think that's more like cultural, but we all know that uh, Spain, especially, especially southern Spain, uh, is known to be like a very relaxed region in general, and you can feel it when you're there. Uh, that uh, really changed some of the ways that I I was seeing reality before. Uh, like simply the fact that sometimes you can relax and have like more uh, distance uh, with with things like understand something and uh, let things go or just don't stress so much you know that was something really oh, important of course, Spanish people don't stress as much at all about a lot of stuff yeah but um, of course but it, with the way how do they approach art is it for example a lot of other students who who are interested in figurative art or more in modern art mm -hmm. or more like did you also find any uh, any Spanish late masters back like El Greco for example mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that influence you? Uh, well uh, there are some Spanish artists that influenced me that wouldn't be El Greco exactly although I, I do like him I'd say first maybe one of my like masters that I say among my uh, masters from the art history is Joaquin Sorolla. Uh, he's connected with like luminism, you could say. That's somehow connected with um, something between realism and impressionism. That's pretty much realism, but very affected by the light. And um, that was amazing when I was back in his at his home studio home that he created in Madrid. Uh, it's right in the center of Madrid, but he created his own, like a very specific word in there for his family. He was a very familiar family man. You know, he had his family, his children, and then he created this uh, wonderful Andalusian-like uh, garden around 
around the house and he was so productive like he was painting i guess at every hour of every day because the the the, the quantity of paintings that he left it's just amazing he did this whole series on like spanish regions customs and just the ability of painting like very you know, very quick in putting the, uh, the brush on the canvas, you can notice the movement, you can notice the feeling. So yeah, this painter is, is really important for me. And also another one that I should mention, Velasquez, uh, back, back at the Faculty of Fine Arts in, in Granada, uh, one of my professors that is a real maestro for me as well, uh, he would always say, Velasquez is the king. And that's because, yeah, right, Velasquez uh, really influenced a lot of artists. I think every artist that does figurative art someday referred to Velasquez in a way, because he really is the master. Well, we don't, we are not that familiar in Poland all about the Spanish artists, so it's very, actually, informative as well when you teach us about them because I would say we're more more focused on maybe American British ones and I would say okay El Greco <laughs> then he's the, a great the artist, artist as well he's a great artist as well is it any element about Spain that um, really like stays with you until today that marked you and whole your career until today that you I would say you captured and you keep it of course, yeah. Uh, first of all, flamenco, which we just talked about. I I still was painting flamenco until uh, shortly ago, and there's a lot of elements. I'd say Spanish, like flamenco music or the folkloric music from different regions, it stays with me. Many times when I create, I I have this music with me. So that's a really important element of the culture, uh, music in general not only Spanish, it always was important to me, so I tend to, like, you know, mix it with, with what I paint. Each painting is somehow connected with some song or even, like, a wider, uh, I don't know, a disc or maybe different songs that, that bring me back the moment when I've been painting it. And the other thing I'd say, well, these cultural uh, things that influenced me, the people, because I stay connected with them. But I think that happens with, with every travel you do. Like last year, I've been living for some time in Berlin, in Germany, and this as well, you know, influenced me in a way. So I think the, the important thing you, is, is just to like appreciate um, what each travel or each place can, can give you. So, you know, Spain or, or a different place in the world. It seems that art and traveling go together as a match and they unite. So they say if you want an art to know an artist, you need to go to their own country, to their home country. But in this case, we say if you want to know Maya Tomaszewska, you have to go to Spain. But we really, truly recommend to look at her art because it's very unique. And thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture. <laughs>